Today we're going to be making the pegs for the timber frame. So I just uh, tooled up my uh, log splitter. I have a, uh, a small die in here that we're going to press the, uh, the wooden peg through. So I just uh, um, split them out of a log and they're about one inch square. And we're going to take this uh, hydraulic cylinder and press them through. So from the top here, you can see the, uh, the steel die plate that's being supported by the two by fours and the ram is going to push it um, through this die plate and uh, make it into an octagon shape. So it's about 20 thousandths under one inch when we, uh, when we end up with it. So here's what the press looks like running. <laughs> So I've just pressed the peg through the die. Now it's retracted. I'm going to load in another pin to push it through the rest of the way. You'll see it drop out the bottom. The die uh, gives us a nice uh, octagon shape, uh, pretty clean uh, cut around the outside, and um, this will be a nice fit into the hole. So basically I've turned a 20-ton uh, log splitter into a 20-ton uh, broaching machine. Uh, it just works very nice. The uh, cylinder just presses that peg right through the die, cuts it to a nice octagon shape, and uh, spits it out the other end there. Here's the finished peg. Nice octagon shape, a little burr there, but it won't be so bad. The actual pegs are going to be made out of uh, oak, so it should uh, cut a little bit better. So we're ready to put it together.